Welcome to Dickey's Arena in Fort Worth, Texas for our live coverage of the 2023 NCAA Gymnastics Championship. 7375. This is a 10 0 start, Guy Ubald, the first of their front pike halves. Oh. Look at that landing. <laughs> Incredible. For the Sooners on bar, the senior from Louisville, Texas. There are so many gymnasts competing here in these championships from Texas clubs. She is such an aggressive bar swinger. I love the straight arm cast to handstands. Watch this pack salto down to the low bar. Beautiful amplitude. Whoa, nice job on the half pirouette on the low bar. Beautiful final handstand, really hitting the positions. Double layout and a stuck landing. One of her best is Pike Hager. Oh, milking these handstand positions, showing off the amplitude. So far, this is just perfection. Oh my. Absolutely gorgeous. Let's see if she can get the dismount with those legs together. Double front, half twist. Oh, just a little hop, but oh. Folks, that's a great routine, as was that beam routine. While well, many of the gymnasts are opting for two pass routines, she's doing three back one and a half to front layout. Beautifully performed. Oh, what an opening rotation, and we are not done. Front full to front layout. Every gymnast on every team right now are waving, they're clapping, they are loving this. That is just pure awesomeness. I. Oh, they're on their feet. Even the fans from competing teams celebrating this wonderful moment. The queen of the floor, Darian Goborn. Oh, what a great start to this competition. UCLA, Utah, and Oklahoma. Ivy O'Keefe just went first and stuck a beautiful Yurchenko full. Hoping it's the same here with Abby Brenner. Big one and a half twist. I think she said that's it. <laughs> Front toss, very secure. Altman, the graduate student from Minnesota. To the home state of KJ Kinney. And she can be like a cat in the air on this dismount. This one and a half twist. The way she finds <laughs> landings and sticks, I can almost pretty confidently call it before she goes. <laughs> Everything is just so tight and sharp. Big dismount here. Nice high full out. Well done. And Jay Campbell on floor. I'm telling you, the energy required to do this routine. All out. Through the roof. We're sitting here beaming with smiles. This is a treat. Jordan Childs. No. Oh, this is awe-inspiring. What, what an adventure. That was just so much. OK, Abby Brenner for Utah moments ago. Emily Morgan led off. The Red Rocks with a 9-8-1-2-5 on bars. Nice position in these hands, hands straddle Yeager. Just a little bit of foot form there in the transition. Nice on the final handstand. Let's see if she can get the stick. Double layout. <laughs> Drills it into the mat. <laughs> and no one's happier than Tom Farden. 
she can go huge on this Yurchenko fall. Great technique, beautiful amplitude, oh, yeah. and look at that dialed in landing. There it is. Oh, I love her technique on that pipe double. The pipe, the form, very special. combination of unique choreography, which is one of KJ Kindler's strengths. Vault after Shea Campbell got a 9-9. The hardest vault in NCAA. Yurchenko double twist, high and mighty. Just the hop on the landing, but what a gorgeous vault. And on floor, this. here's Danny Seavers. Oh, beautiful work on the uneven bars. High, pack Salto down to the low bar. Great power team going here, switching get the dismount. Oh, oh as oh, always, yes. uncanny with that landing. To qualify into here, here is Grace McCallum. She was out for most of the middle of the season. Hyper-extended knee, great to see her competing for the Red Rock Center on bar. And can she swing bars? Really shows off her height on this event. So happy to see her back in the lineup. Full twisting double, back oh. and finds the landing. First routine back. Oh. Welcome back to Dickey's Arena here in Fort Worth, Texas. Oklahoma is now in first place with a 148-7. Big score there. Utah. Now in the leadoff spot for the Bruins. They're in a heated battle with Utah. Good event for UCLA, ranked fifth in the nation, but they have got to be clean and tight to make up ground. Double front. Oh, and a stick. For sticking her landing. The Sooners have five solid vaults already. She often has the secret sauce for those landings. And, well, Selena Harris on bars for UCLA moments ago. Woo, milk that handstand position. She is going for a big time here. Wow, effortless, easy. Double layout. A little scoop back, but Chess was nice and high on that landing. She having Justine Kara perform. It's a very different style. Triple series, so solid. Crystal has come up so big for them in these situ pressure situations. Every lineup this year for Utah. She scored a perfect 10 earlier this season. As I said, I just, I love the way they perform here. They don't just execute these routines. You gotta love pressure. All right, this could be a highlight. Jordan Childs on the bars now for UCLA after Mark Zeta Frazier got a 9-9. Highlight may be an understatement. The most difficult routine here and she just hits these skills with effortless ease, great technique, perfect handstands, just the dismount, full twist and double pack. And there it is, folks. That is a great bar routine. Oh, Janelle McDonald. One glorious routine after another for Utah on being. They are just such a delight. And Miley O'Keefe has come up big so often. Uncanny with her beam work. So in tune with the beam. They're celebrating on the sidelines for Jordan Childs. 
It's a 10 for Jordan Childs in that anchor spot for UCLA. Will it be enough for UCLA to advance to the championship final? It's certainly enough for Jordan Childs to secure the all-around NCAA title as an individual. And Miley keeping her cool. Wow. So much finesse in this routine. Confident as can be, beautiful as always. It is a 10 for Miley O'Keefe, which is allowing her to win the all-around title that Jordan Childs had in her hands for just a matter of moments. It took Utah with the second highest team score in the NCAA semifinal. They will join Oklahoma into the championship on Saturday afternoon.